Having a teenage daughter is like having an office crush because you just like always like they you're thinking about them a lot more than they're thinking about you. <laughs> and you just like go up to their door and you're like, a bunch of us are gonna eat dinner. You're probably busy. <laughs> like, you're probably like, like some of us thought it would be cool to like put a movie. Uh, never mind, never mind. And they just look at you like they're like looking at their phone like <laughs> But. I just remember I liked you. Our mutual friend says, oh, yeah. you know, Jimmy wants to meet you and you can go over to his apartment and da 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 and I'm single and I'm like, okay, yeah, cool. Wait, what? Yes. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yes. Did I date Nicole Kidman? How's my girl? How's, how's James? James. I, I love your, your older daughter. I, well, we got to stay away from you, Jimmy. She's yeah. just like, she is so intimidated by you. It, she's like buddies with Taylor Swift. No problem. Jimmy Fallon can't speak. Like, you are, you are. The gorgeous Haley Steinfeld walks past me, has a very complicated, like, three train thing. Yeah. And I get wrapped up in it, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to die at the, on the steps of the Met. Darling, um, <laughs> literally just out of nowhere, the hand of God came out and pulled me out of it, and it was you. And you were just <laughs> so sweet about it. You were like, hey, I'm Jimmy. Nice to meet you. I was like, OK. Yeah, yeah. thank you. I think it was David's house. So it was a long time ago. Uh -huh. And you could have asked for my number then, because it was round two. Well, second chance. <laughs> and you still didn't ask for it. <laughs> And you What's know that's going on? True. What is happening right now? So do not pretend. <laughs> and that's even more offensive that you don't remember. No, I know. I, I... Do you remember the kitchen and the buffet? Do you? <laughs> See? I really they do remember They had the food this. laid out in the kitchen. Yeah. There was a big dinner party. And who was at the, so who was in the kitchen? my agent had said, Jimmy's going to be there, and this you'll see that he can ask for your number, because, you know, it may kind of happen this way. And you'll see. And we were lurking in the kitchen. Everyone went out. <laughs> and I'm, like, waiting and waiting and waiting. And you still didn't ask for my number. I can't believe so it. So you are so, so not interested. Well, this anyway, house? you had a chance to ask for my number a second time, and you didn't. <laughs> I saw a couple of videos where you were with Keith. You were singing, you sung background and a couple of things. Do you do that no, on tour? No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No. Definitely. I never did. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I saw you sing background. I wasn't saying what? Yeah. Yeah, Keith came out and then you came and sang background. It was, that, it was for the charity thing. I don't remember that. <laughs> what are you talking about? You don't sing with... What is this? With, no, it's not on there, but you don't... What are you talking about? I did not... Anyway, yeah. With oh, look, I'll let you save face with that. <laughs> <laughs> How do you not sing with your husband? He's, he's Keith Urban. Oh, well, I mean, I hum in the background, but... There yeah. you go! Okay. So now it comes out, Your Honor. I saw you in the background singing. Oh, sorry. Humming, I'm sorry. <laughs> I want to get to know you. Uh, I, I want to ask you, uh, you, you're from Cuba, is that correct? Yeah. And do you start acting there? I did. Uh, I went to drama school when I was 14. That was like four years of theater school. Yeah. And when I was on my second year, I did my first movie. I auditioned for it and I got it. And uh, the teachers were not very happy. And they told me if I did the movie, uh, I was going to get kicked out of school. Of acting school? Yeah. Because, you you're know. You're like, wait, this is kind well, of the goal, you right? Movie, like... You're not going to school. So. I understand, yeah. but uh, I still did it, though. So. That's right, yeah, look at you now, come on, yeah, exactly right. I also heard something that, uh, that you used to hitchhike to school. Yeah, didn't you? No. <laughs> that was very dangerous, I don't hitchhike. Wait, I mean, you just get there faster than just... <laughs> <laughs> I understand, yeah, but... Like... I mean, I will get there faster than you, maybe, but... Yes, you will, yeah, because no one will pick me up, yeah. If we're both on the street with our thumb out, they're going to pick you up and not well, me. Well, I didn't do the thumb thing, I just go to the stoplight so the cars have to stop. <laughs> <laughs> you just jump into strangers' cars, I, like, take I, me to school? <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. You just go to the window. Yeah, go ahead, and take like, me to school. And like, hey, can you go no, to the next stoplight? This is too dangerous. Oh, no, no. On no, it's not. I mean, everyone's very used to it. It's like yeah. free carpool. Uh, any <laughs> children watching, no, don't do this. <laughs> I'm still um, filming Ballerina. Oh, yeah. John Wick spin-off. Oh. How's, how's Keanu Reeves doing? He's awesome. You I mean, got... Keanu's Keanu. He's, He's been in Prague filming for four months. We still have one more month to go. Wow. And I'm in pain. Don't worry, I'm bruised. Bond. One was 15 minutes. This is a whole movie, yeah, another yeah, yeah. level. But the other day, Keanu and I were rehearsing our 
very difficult stun scene and this man is just rolling and throwing me. I can't complain anymore. It's Why? Because he is doing it. Oh, and he doesn't complain? And I just, he, no, never. He's just, he truly is the best. Every single Aussie says when they see you, they say, you know, anything can kill you. Yeah, there's, sh there's sharks. The sharks. The there's spiders. There's jumping sharks. Yeah, of course there are. Yeah. I know spiders hide in everything. I had a spider that was in my vent. The leg was sticking out. No! Oh my God. Shake your shoe before you put your shoe on. That's exactly what they told yes. me. You, you, when you wake up, you have to shake yes. your shoe or else you'll it die. It is true. Poison spiders. Yes. Like, yeah, did you? I, I hate the stereotype. Like everyone thinks, oh, you're from Australia. There are creepy, crawly, poisonous, venomous things all over the place. But are there creepy, crawly, poisonous, <laughs> venomous things all over the place? I like mean 10 of your closest friends growing up, how many of them were killed by poisonous <laughs> spiders? <laughs> Seven? No. <laughs> but no member of the public knows. No no. Well, actually, no. that's not that's not strictly true. <laughs> One policeman knew. I was driving back from my parents' house, and I was driving too fast. Actually, I feel the sirens go off behind me, and this uh, policeman comes up, pulls me over, and and look, there's two ways we could do this. You can either follow me back to the police station now, and I book you in, or you can tell me whether you live in the next series of. <laughs> So I, 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 I'm alive next season. And he, <laughs> and he goes, he says, mm hmm On your way, Lord Commander. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was the most awkward scene to shoot? Any time I had to kiss Jennifer was pretty uncomfortable. She's one of my best friends, I love her. But if we had a kissing scene, she would make a point of eating garlic or tuna fish or... <laughs> You know, something that was disgusting. She is and, fun, and man. right before the scene, she'd be like, Yeah, I had tuna, I had garlic, and I didn't brush my teeth. Like, <laughs> fantastic. Just make you I work can't that wait much to more. get in there and taste it. <laughs> Who was my first celebrity crush? <laughs> a little embarrassing. <laughs> Ready? Don't look. For cardio's sake, what do you do for cardio? <laughs> no cardio. Uh, no, I run. <laughs> hmm. That's See? a savory answer. Yeah. So what is the real answer? You. I think they get it. <laughs> oh. I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Magoro yeah. Obi I heard that you steal toilet paper. <laughs> that you steal toilet okay. paper. It was one time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It was yeah, actually exactly. when I was living in New York, and I was busy, and every time I just got home, I was going to buy toilet paper again. So I was saying goodbye to a friend who was, she was like, I'm getting on a plane to Australia, like, so take, you know, whatever we've got left over. And I was like, oh, great. So I packed up a bag, and I was like, toilet paper, yes. And then I walked out, and I got papped outside the hotel. Yeah. We found the photo that the paparazzi <laughs> took of you. Look at this guilty human being. Uh, how's, how's my girl? How's, how's James? Like, James. I, I love your, your older daughter. I, well, we gotta stay away from you, Jimmy. She's yeah. just like, she is so intimidated by you. Like, I yeah. was coming here tonight. She's like, I, okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's just, yeah, just go. And I was like, come on, come on. She's like, no, it's okay. It's so fine. <laughs> and I was like, buddies with Taylor Swift, no problem. Jimmy Fallon, can't speak. Like, you were just like, you were Beyonce for her. Like, you were, you were, we have a Jimmy Fallon, like, oh. cardboard cutouts in our house. Yeah. Put Johnny there, and we're going down the slide, and now the moms are watching, and I'm like, okay, here we go. So we go down, but what I hadn't thought about was physics. <laughs> so, like, you have a 35-pound child going down, it's one speed. You have me and my son, it's like, not 35 pounds, so we just go around the corner, and instead of slowing down like the other kids, we speed up. Yeah, you're going like... So I'm holding Johnny like this. <laughs> Get, and it starts to go so fast, and all the moms are watching, and I'm so self-conscious. And as it speeds up, my thoughts slow down, and I just look ahead, and I get very serious and very focused, and I think, I must stick this landing. <laughs> so I, I shoot off the slide with Johnny, and I go... Yes! <laughs> it's your fiancé, Darth Vader, calling to tell you he's leaving you for another woman. Okay. Ring, 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 ring. Hello? Hi, babe. <laughs> did, did you just wake up? <laughs> oh. You're what? Where are you? Who the f 
Hang up, hang up the phone. Hang up the phone. Hang up the phone. <laughs> Is it is it odd that you're here with no audience? Um, I kind of like it. You do? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like like social isolation, like is my vibe. Oh really? Yeah. You know, like you can't, where like, you can't do this for the whole interview, by the way, because you look like an evil villain. You're like, no, I feel like social isolation like, is my vibe. vibe. Uh, is your kids getting your accent, or are they getting your husband's accent? Well, Hazel had my accent for a really long time, and would say things like water, which I was really proud of. And then, yeah. and then the other day she goes, "Can I have some water?" <laughs> And I went, it's water. And she was like, no, it's water. <laughs> I was like, no. Do you know when a gorilla loses a fight? Do you know what he loses? His family. You lose your wife and your kids. All of that goes. If you lose a back, like if you're in a silverback fight and you lose, well, your wife and your kids are now my wife and my kids. And that gorilla has to like just be a nomad, walk off. Into the into the jungle, dead serious. Now, is it technically a loss? I don't know. What are you talking? What are you talking? Yeah, I'm, I'm just that is absolutely, 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 absolutely. Your wife is watching. You're in big I, trouble. I, yeah, but I'm not a, a silverback. But if I was, <laughs> would you throw some of those fights? Uh, or would you? Oh. <laughs> and you ran into some of your. Avenger friends. And yes, they resembled some of my <laughs> Avengers friends. This is not really them? Wait, let me see. I think it might be really them. Can we zoom in? I just want to see. Yeah, that's it's definitely Tom Holland. I think that's definitely Tom Holland. I, I could tell by his exposed thumb. He travels with that suit. He <laughs> travels with that suit. He really does, yeah. yeah. yeah that was cool that they came out and supported you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who is the greatest of all time? Jordan, LeBron, or you? You have to answer. You have to answer. I'll, I'll answer. The, uh, the GOAT. Uh, the GOAT committee meets in secret, okay? <laughs> so, uh, that's just something we'll never get, we're, we're not gonna know about, you know? But if, if LeBron breaks my record in, in this next year coming up, that will be one last record that I won't have to worry about ever again. Okay, but the greatest of all time, can I just say it? Why not? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. That's okay. Do you ever just sit down and do nothing and just watch TV? Yeah, I watch a, a lot of movies. You do? Yeah, I watch about a movie a day. I try to. A movie a day? Yeah. Is that yeah. right? Yeah, I love movies. So, I, do you watch? You don't watch your own movies, do you? Uh, oh, those are the only films that I watch. All the. <laughs> you just mean? watch nothing but your own movies. What are you talking? Uh, Can you imagine? No, I mean, no. <laughs> no. I watch. I watch all the films that come out. My first apartment I had in New York, I just, I didn't buy drapes or anything like that. I just, I had the biggest television that I could get yeah. with all of the systems, Laserdisc and VHS and no. Beta and everything. Laserdisc is my, f I, I was one of the investors of Laserdisc. I brought one of my favorite Laserdiscs that I have yeah. from home. Just does your mom give you uh, advice on, on your yeah. career and modeling she, and all that? She's full of great advice. I remember, um, right before I was going to do my first ever fashion show, she sat me down and had my whole family gather around and played me compilation videos of models falling. Um, <laughs> what? I think to be like, this is the worst case scenario. Yeah, you're like, thanks, mom. And I was like, I didn't even know you could fall this many different ways, but... <laughs> but Those compilations exist. Knock yeah. on wood, yeah. I haven't ever fallen, yeah. so... Yeah, no. I you know, I think like she's maybe she scared me enough that I that I yeah. didn't fall. I think probably her point was like, yeah. <laughs> uh, I just love that. I, I heard that. And I heard that you did these travel shows. And then I heard that you were a professional hairdresser. I was. Yes, I've, I've had I've had a, a, a few lives. Uh, I was a, a hairstylist. So I, I used to be a, a sort of a barber sweep when I was about 14 years old. Uh, that kind of progressed after school into a shampoo boy. Then I became a hairstylist. I moved up to London. I was sort of doing uh, hair in this amazing salon in, in Chelsea. Um, and then I had this bright idea of moving to Malaysia and trying to be a television host. Isn't that um, awesome? And so I, 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 I booked a one-way ticket. I packed a bag. Uh, next thing I know, I was I was on television. It was weird. Henry, what a great story this is! <laughs> yeah. But I, I just and then, I, and then now I'm in cinema. Like I'm I'm, I'm in the movies. It's crazy. 
I absolutely loved this movie. You guys killed it. But on a personal note, my father is African. He's from Ghana. He's a scientist. My mother, my sisters, brilliant African-American women. So basically everything that represents me was honored in this movie. I've seen the movie twice in theaters already and once on bootleg. <laughs> it was incredible. Thank you. Wait, you gonna bootleg my movie? <laughs> Come on, Kwab Nabo, okay? And you got my whole name right. <laughs> Every time you, you come on the show, we, we, we talk about Quantico, and then we usually challenge each other to something, either... Which is such a disastrous idea on your end. I don't know why you challenge me for things. I'm, I'm a natural-born winner. <laughs> yeah, this is unbelievable. Yeah, I will say, yeah, I, I, was any of them close? Was any of our competitions close? No, I beat the f out of you. <laughs> I, I beg to differ. I beg to differ. <laughs> I want to talk about that you have the you're on the biggest show in the world, Game of Thrones. You're you're about to be <laughs> in the biggest movie, Dark Phoenix. Uh, and on top of it all, the best news, you just got married. I did. Uh, yeah. And while I've been there, they had this thing called the schoolies. And it's when all, I think it's like the high schoolers graduate and they go and they have their big, huge spring break, summer break party. Yeah. And they shut down all the streets and they call the schoolies are out. And then the toolies go out too. And those are anybody that is older than like 21. And they put wristbands on them to know that they're tools <laughs> trying to pick up like younger kids. They're the, they're the... <laughs> So the toolies and the schoolies. The, the, the toolies and the schoolies. <laughs> That's so fun. I love I that. And then anybody that is still in high school that goes out also gets a different color wristband, and they're called the foolies. <laughs> Wait, so the foolies are, 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 aren't or old they, enough. When they aren't old enough to be messing around, so they're fools. So the foolies and the schoolies and then the, and the toolies. toolies. Oh my gosh, I'm such a toolie. Yeah. Oh my god, so sad. <laughs> this is you and your brother, uh, Dylan Sprouse, on the Tonight Show with Jay Leno, and. Uh, <laughs> I can't even tell which one is me. That's you. That's... Yeah, yeah. Jay's holding a picture. You drew a picture of Jay Leno. Yes. And gave it to Jay. <laughs> well, it's just interesting. It's just... I actually drew you one tonight as well. You drew a Would picture you... of me as well? I'd love to see it. A little bit better. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Yeah. you speak Spanish? I'm trying. I'm learning. I've got my Duolingo, and I'm working really hard. <laughs> Do you have Duolingo? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. I say things like I've learned how to say, yo bebo leche. I, uh, I, drink, what does that mean? I drink milk. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Yo bebo leche. Yeah, si, si. Si, si. si. This Correcto. is good. Si, quiero dos manzanas, por favor. Uh, two, I would, two somethings. Two apples, please. Oh. So, I've been learning all that important stuff. And so then you get, you get from, from Duolingo, you get these very encouraging things like, hey, yeah, you're on a hot streak. Keep going. Keep working tomorrow. And then I kind of stop for a while. I'm like, hey, you missed a day, but that doesn't matter. We'll keep your hot streak going. And the third day, they're like, wow, we haven't seen you in a while. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> and then I finally got, these emails don't seem to be working. <laughs> This is a picture of you and Jason Momoa and Kit Harrington. I mean, Indeed. That is it. A... I mean, Night Out with These Guys is, there's a lot of dancing. We, we, I really like to dance, but um, Jason and Kit's dancing is quite different from one another. <laughs> so Kit, and it's a little bit poncy. He calls it the shoulder dance, and it's a little bit, it start, he could be starting it sitting down, and he kind of does like a little, like you got to pout with it. <laughs> and then he'll... <laughs> <laughs> and it's just all of this. It's all of that. You gotta like mince it though. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, what is uh, what is Jason Momoa dancing like? Jason Momoa's dancing is comedy, comedy. <laughs> my my office screwed up, and this is the same day that my nephew is graduating from high school. But I can't cancel on the Tonight Show, so I'm in a little bit that. of a bind. But right. I wondered if you could just do me a favor. Sure. If you could just say happy graduation to my nephew, because then I won't be in trouble at home. I, oh, of course, Ken. Well, uh, just... <laughs> happy graduation, Dylan. You're the man. <laughs>
Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same